you want to start your own fishing tackle shop, right? How do you know what they're gonna buy? How do you know? Well, the reality is you don't know. You just don't know, there's no way to know. <laughs> and here's why. Spending money is a difficult thing. Money, like the old saying, money don't grow on trees, it don't grow like grass, it just... It's difficult, it's hard, it's, it's, it costs you something. And so when people are choosing to buy something, they have to go into an entirely different frame of mind than when if you are just asking them what they want, want to buy. I mean, people will tell you all day long what they want until it comes time to part with money. Then their bank account will tell a very different story than what their mouths are telling them, right? have to put people in a realistic buying situation because otherwise you won't know. I can't tell you the number of time I've sent out surveys, asked, you know, you hear these people talk about, you got to build your audience first, build your audience first. And it makes a couple of assumptions. The problem with that is that you assume that one, it assumes that people have money and two, that they want to spend money, right? <laughs> Well, if, if, if that's the basis of your business, you're gonna find out real quick that a lot of times just because people subscribe to you doesn't mean they wanna spend money. You need to determine whether or not they're gonna spend money first, if they have the money, do they wanna spend the money, determine that first, then use that as a basis to start making your videos. That's the difference between you know uh, running a business and just having a hobby, right? And that's just realistic. A number two thing is how do you even know where to start? First of all, what products are you using? What products do you buy? What products do you wish they were easier to get hold of? What products, what, 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 what is an aspect of fishing that you wish, gosh, if someone were to add this little tweak or if they were to just take out that little thing or if they were to change and add this sort of color to it or this whatever, well, that may be a clue to begin looking. What you do from there is you go to eBay, you go to Etsy, you go to Amazon, you go to Bass Pro Shops, you go to wherever any kind of fishing tackle is sold, especially online, and see what's being offered. Go to other manufacturers' websites, see what's being offered. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> excuse me, go to your local fishing bait and fishing tackle shops and just ask, hey man, what are people buying? What what what's the hot bass lure this time of year? What's the hot crappie lure this time of year? Hey, you got anybody doing any catfishing? What are they buying? That's why so many of, much of my tackle is so sort of minimalist and sort of rustic looking and sort of bare bones. Because I want everybody to know that they got a chance without having to go out and spend $10,000 on rods and reels. That's very important. So you have to determine where, what, what point in the marketplace. Now for some of you, maybe you are tournament fishermen and you love that scene and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying you're a bad person or something just because you love fishing tournaments and you got all the cool gear. But really the way you market to a tournament angler is gonna be a little different than the way you're gonna market to an everyday angler or a weekend angler or someone like me who's fishing for food. I mean, you're a different tackle. So determine who you want to serve. That will determine what type of tackle to stock in your store, in your online shop.